I almost quit YouTube. Just before the KSI vlog and during my Minecraft mod videos, I was about to delete my channels and log off forever. Why? Why would I leave at the height of it all? Why haven't I talked about it before? Well, hey, let's uh, sit down and have a chat. Tom, a Tom talk. A Tom talk. A year ago, I did my first live show. I didn't want to at all. It was meant to just be a talent show vlog, like the Minecraft one I did. Tom. But in real life. But it ended up being the best night of my life. After some really, really shit news. Seeing you all there with my best friends telling my best jokes. It was exactly what I wanted. I don't know what it is. Maybe you guys could tell all along, but I realized my new dream is being up on a stage in a room with you guys, which is weird. You know, I'm a YouTuber. I didn't expect how bloody extroverted I'd become. I used to just sit in my room playing Hypixel, and now all I want to do is be a comedian. Uh, listen, it's a pretty huge turn in life, but it turns out to do this, you can't just wing it. Even if I managed to wing my way into a Lovejoy stage a few times. Listen, you can't do that in the big leagues. Now, you have no idea how scuffed this show was. The axe hadn't shown up until an hour before. I insisted on doing a lightsaber duel like a day before. No one knew their lines. My God, the fact that we pulled it off was a miracle. Ever since that evening, I've relentlessly dreamed about being up there. Too much. It's weird finding a thing you love this much. Finding your thing, but I'm glad I have. You know, I never thought there'd be something I love as much as YouTube or women. So I wanted to take things more seriously now. Get a divorce from M and remarry the grind. Now look, I know you can just do a show where you sit in a chair and tell jokes. People will probably be fine with that, but I wouldn't be. I've never been able to dig my fingers into the chill side of things, whether it be streaming, videos, anywhere. I gotta go max effort, give it my all, just stay up all night working on it. So I spent five months writing basically a two hour YouTube video, seeing to exactly what extent I can push things before, you know, they're not allowed. And this has resulted in probably the funniest thing I've ever made, like real songs and puppets and underpaying Jack Manifold to play my dad. Seriously, it's great. I'm very proud of it. So look, a very funny show about how to be a YouTuber. That's great, kid. Well done. But I figured, let's take it one step further. Let's drop the act. Drop all of this. I just turn off my... Yeah. <sighs> Two years ago, I got a call from Dream telling me I need to lock my windows, shut my doors, and prepare for the worst. I didn't know what he meant. I was fucking freaked out. <laughs> he told me that people were coming for me. This isn't a joke. And that I'd have to fucking prepare. We stayed in that call for hours. I don't... I yeah, I think I might have been the most scared I've ever been as well. Dream spoke to my parents, he let them know the situation, and they understood, but they couldn't even lie to me. They were pretty fucking scared too. I wasn't even 18, and this shit was happening. After a few hours, I left our call and went to bed. And that is when they arrived at my house. Now, the rest of this story... I can't talk about on the internet. One, it puts me in danger again, but two, like illegally, I've never been able to talk about it. I just can't. But as it turns out, there's a loophole. I am allowed to in person. So when I finally realized this, I knew what the show was gonna be about, what it's like to be a YouTuber. Every last aspect from growing up to going to college and suddenly being on the newspaper for being a millionaire, but especially, the bits every other YouTuber leaves out and only talks about privately. I got to 10 million subscribers when I was a kid, and online, it was a great meme. You're a child? I'm not oh a why would you- But in real life, some serious shit happened, dude. So, for the first time, letting the floodgates open and telling you all the real YouTuber shit. Most of it is funny. All of it, you'll remember. I'm coming to these cities around the UK, and I want you guys to be there. I want you to hear the story, and I promise you, It'll be worth your while. Now, another cool ass thing, if this sells, I'll be able to take the tour to America and Australia and everywhere next year. While doing that, film so many vlogs too, make so many new videos and meet so many new people. There'll be so much content for so long. I usually spend a week on YouTube videos. So spending five months on this, fuck, it's sick. This is the best and most important project I've ever worked on. And you should get tickets. It'll be sick and I want to see you all there together we'll have the best night ever. Just because it's mental too, as well. Look, it's real, the venues. Nottingham on June 7th, where I'm from. Sheffield, Glasgow, Manchester, Newcastle, Wolverhampton, Plymouth, Bournemouth, Brighton. Yes, Cardiff, Bath, and the London Apollo. Fuck, please press the link in the description for tickets and even more stuff. Thank you guys for being here because I couldn't do any of this without you. I appreciate you all so much. And boy, am I glad I didn't quit. Go
Good job, buddy. buddy. You did a good job. Well done, mate. Oh. Well done, Tombo. Well, thank you so much. Oh, the first leg. Hey! What's the next one? Uh. <laughs>